We begin tonight in Vaughan, a city left shaken by a deadly mass shooting. This is the condominium building where the violent scene unfolded last night. Police say a gunman killed five people and injured another before he was shot dead by an officer. We're going to have extensive coverage on this story tonight. Our Tracy Tong and Catherine McDonald are both live from the scene. Our Sean O'Shea is also there. We'll have more from him in a few moments. But first, to you, Tracy, take us through what we know so far. Well, Alan, really, this can only be described by residents as a living nightmare. They were home yesterday on a Sunday evening, just enjoying their nights when they were thrown into an active shooter situation. And police say this was not an intruder. The shooter was someone who lived in the building. Police say it took three minutes and 20 seconds to arrive on scene after getting the call to this condo building in Vaughn Sunday evening but there had already been so much bloodshed. Officers arrived to find a horrific scene with five deceased victims having been shot and killed in three separate units. The shooting spree started around 7.20 p.m. Officers storming the building to find bodies on multiple floors. I had a rifle not pointed directly at me, but there was two officers with rifles right outside my door. Three SWAT officers were storming up the stairs. I put my hands up like this. They said, get downstairs. And I said, okay, I'm going downstairs. And as I started to go downstairs, I heard four shots, four loud shots. The shooter has been identified as a 73-year-old building resident, Francesco Villi, and he was armed with a semi-automatic handgun. Officers found him on the third floor where he was shot. He was pronounced dead some 40 long minutes after it all began. The officer in that interaction is a 24-year veteran of York Regional Police, and he very likely saved lives by his actions last night. The lives that could not be saved included those of three men and two women. A 66-year-old woman survived and is recovering in hospital. Police say three of the victims were members of the condo board. We have to look at every aspect of it and, and one of them will be what is his relationship to the victims? What is his relationship to the board? What was the 73-year-old man doing with a gun? Was he a registered gun owner? I can't confirm that at this time. I can't, I don't have those details actually. What is known is that for residents of this building, home will never be quite the same. And this has been, to say the least, a very traumatic incident for everyone living in this building. They are confused, they are scared, and they are just wanting answers. So many questions swirling out there. There are a lot of people who live here who knew both the suspected shooter as well as the victims. And our Catherine McDonald has also been on scene here all day speaking to people who live around here. Catherine, what have you learned so far? Well, people feel that what happened here is simply beyond comprehension. Uh, this is a place where they felt safe. It was their home and uh, they knew many of their neighbors. And so last night, as you said, when they learned that one of uh, the other tenants who they knew, Francesco Vili, uh, was the accused gunman, and that people that they loved have, had been fatally shot, five of them, in fact, one wounded, it really has been a lot for them to try to understand. Now, uh, as you said, the, the gunman, the suspected gunman who lived in this building, Francesco Vili, was embroiled in a lawsuit with the condominium board and the city of Vaughan. He was upset over uh, his living conditions. Other tenants described to me how they were often afraid of Vili because he would often make racial slurs, but no one imagined it would come to this. There's also a lot of sadness here that five people lost their lives, another woman injured. These were condo board members, many of them, many of them well known to their fellow tenants. Today, some people came and left flowers for the victims. Others were just trying to make sense of it all. Obviously feeling for their family, my condolences go out to them. It's, it's not fair, especially in the midst of the holidays, right before the holidays. Like, it's not fair to be losing loved ones, you know, but here we are. He caused a lot of trouble, not only for the board as well as the city of Vaughan, but also for the residents here. Racial slurs were thrown at my mom, many, many just different things that came from him. If anyone would have thought about it, they would have done something, right? And that's why I'm in shock because the members, everyone knew what he was talking about and what he was going to do, what he was up to. But all that hate and all those words, everything. 
Now, the second woman that I interviewed, she was visiting this building with her seven-year-old son last night. They were just about to leave. They had been here making cookies with her mother. She says now her mother is too terrified to be alone, uh, not to mention the fact that she knew four of the victims. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to have more on reaction to this horrific uh, story that's been unfolding and how residents here are trying to look forward despite this being a, a terrible time.